The things you probably didn't know about diamonds are colored diamonds. Truth is, when you think about diamonds, when people talk about diamonds, they most of the time refer to the white diamonds regarding of their colors, of their clarity, their cut, the carrot, what they see in the certificate. In most minds, diamonds are white. Colored diamonds have taken some portion of the market. And what's really interesting is how are those colored diamonds being made? The things you should know about, the values. Did you actually know that green diamonds existed or red diamonds exist as well, but they're rarely being set in pieces of jewelry, but mostly kept as investments. So if we dive into the world of colored diamonds, those are created when impurities or deformities occur in the diamond's lattice of carbon's atoms. In other words, when the diamond is being created with all the atoms under high pressure, under temperature, and it takes obviously millions of years to come all the way up to the earth, those particular impurities result in the color formations. The most valuable stones will be those of which have the purest in color, most saturated and most even in tone. In order to assess the grades of color, colored diamonds are placed into one of the nine categories. Faint, least valuable, very light, light, fancy light, fancy, fancy dark, fancy intense, fancy deep, and obviously fancy vivid, which is the rarest and the most expensive. Blue diamonds are very particular because if some of you think at first glance it's an aquamarine or a sapphire, which are the most commonly known blue gemstones, a blue diamond has this sparkle and shimmering and facets that only diamonds hold. The color source is that the blue color in diamonds is primarily due to the appearance of boron within the diamond crystal lattice. The boron impurities absorb the yellow light resulting into the diamond's blue appearance. The intensity of the blue can actually vary ranging from very light blue to very deep blue. We think about the Hope Diamond, for example, with the most valuable blue diamonds displaying a vivid, saturated color. Those blue diamonds are graded based on the intensity of their color from faint to fancy deep. And the GIA, the Gemological Institute of America, uses the scale to determine the value and quality of blue diamonds. Now, if we think about rarity, blue diamonds are extremely rare, but they're not the rarest of the colored diamonds. But those with intense and vivid blue colors are what makes this rarity highly sought after and valuable. Now, if we think about market value, due to their rarity and stunning color, Blue diamonds often fetch a very high price at auctions and into the market, and the presence of boron add to their unique appeal. Bear in mind that blue diamonds are highly coveted by collectors and investors, often making headlines when large or notable stones are sold. If we think about the Hope Diamond, which weights 45.52 carats, this deep blue diamond is one of the most famous gems in the world. It was owned by Louis XIV. It traveled through decades and centuries. It was actually stolen many times, but now, after Harry Winston purchased it and gave it to the Smithsonian Institute in order to create the Hall of Gems, you can, if you ever visit Washington DC, you can go and see this beautiful gemstone in one of their window showcases. The blue moon of Josephine, a 12.03 carat fancy vivid blue, is also known for its exceptional color and clarity. If we pair it along, after blue comes pink. The pink of the pink diamond is less understood, but it's generally believed to be the result of a distortion in the diamond's crystal lattice structure because by intense pressure during the formation. And this distortion causes selective absorption of light. Pink diamonds can range in intensity from very light pink to intense pink, just like the Pink Promise, for example, which has this notable pink where the strength and the distribution of the color is pretty balanced, and that balance significantly affects the diamond value. 
For example, the Pink Promise, its exceptional size and vivid pink color with a slightly tint of purple. When Steven Silver, one of the most acclaimed gemologist and stone collector in the world, acquired the stone, he took about eight years to analyze it, understand it, study it before he cut it in order to intense its color. And pink diamonds are actually graded on the intensity of their color from faint to fancy vivid. That distribution becomes a critical factor in their grading. They command at very high prices due to their rarity and the mystery surrounding their color or origin. And their romantic and delicate color adds to the desirability. In terms of popularity, pink diamonds have gained significant popularity, especially for engagement rings and high-end jewelry symbolizing love and uniqueness. Most of the pink diamonds that you would find on the market were coming from the Argyle mine in Australia. That mine being closed, it has become harder and harder to source beautiful pink diamonds with a certificate from that specific mine. Another famous pink diamond is the Pink Star, a 59.60 carat fancy vivid pink diamond that holds the record for the higher priced ever pay for a gemstone at auction. The Graph Pink, a 24.78 carat fancy intense pink that was once owed by Harry Winston, also made the list of the most famous pink diamonds in history. When you think colored diamonds, yellow is usually what comes to mind as the most popular of the colored diamonds because yellow diamonds in the range of diamonds obviously is more accessible and affordable and can be sourced slightly in an easier way than any other colored diamonds. The source of that yellow color is caused by the presence of nitrogen atoms, which replace some of the carbon atoms in the diamond's crystal lattice. These nitrogen atoms absorb the blue light, giving the diamond a yellow hue. And those yellow diamonds, also known as canary diamonds, can range from light yellow to deep vivid yellow, almost orange, one may say. But the most prized yellow diamonds exhibit a strong, pure, straightforward yellow color. For example, the Tiffany yellow diamond is one of the most famous yellow diamonds. We were able to spot it in last few years on Lady Gaga or even Beyonce, even though one of the first who was able to try it was obviously Audrey Hepburn. Now, when it comes to grading yellow diamonds, they grade on the intensity of their color from faint to fancy vivid. And the term canary diamonds is often used to describe those with the most intense yellow color. The rarity, however, while yellow diamonds are more common than blue or pink, the intense and vivid yellow diamonds per se, as we know it, are still considered extremely rare and very valuable. The yellow diamonds are generally more affordable than a blue or pink, though intense diamonds can be super high and their value is actually influenced by the purity and intensity of that color. Their vibrant, cheerful color is often used in fashion forward jewelry designs and very big statement pieces. The Tiffany yellow diamond, as an example, is a 128.54 carats fancy yellow diamond in a cushion shape known in association obviously with Tiffany & Co. that is big and set and highlighted with diamonds all around it. The incomparable diamond, originally weighting 890 carats in the rough, is a diamond that was cut into a 407.48 carat fancy deep brownish yellow gem. After navigating for a decade in the jewelry industry, I must admit that it was not too long ago that I discovered and was able to see it with my own eyes and actually tried it on my own little hand, a green diamond. Those are very high quality gemstones that are extremely hard to source and hard to find and they have this deep consistent color, very rare. And most green diamonds that are found have this minty light color partially colored, often requiring careful cutting and treatment in order to enhance their color. Because of their rarity and unique beauty, green diamonds are extremely sought after collectors and investors driving up their value. Speaking of collectors, investors, and premium prices into the market, if we talk about red diamonds, because yes, they do exist and no, and you cannot have them mistaken with rubies, 
They're extremely pure red and even rarer than the rarest. There are very few red diamonds on the market that have been discovered and they're usually often very small in size. At the jewelry auction of the Phillips house last May 2024, they auctioned a 1.1 carat red diamond. And yes, they are very small in size and the Argyle diamond mine in Australia has been the most famous mine known for its pig diamond and that specific mine has produced some of the most famous red diamonds but in very limited quantities. The scarcity of the red diamonds combined with their striking color make them extremely desirable and the rarity means that even small red diamonds can fetch astronomical prices further emphasizing their exclusivity and they're very often kept into a safe and rarely are mounted into a piece of jewelry because a red diamond is most of the time an investment stone. Moreover, as only a handful of stones are known, they remain the holy grail of natural colored gemstones. The largest red diamond ever found was a 5.11 carat Musayev red diamond that was discovered in Brazil in 1990 and bought by Musayev jewelers in the early 2000s for an estimated price of $8 million. Now, to sum it up, if you think about diamonds, there's obviously the white, but blue, pink, and yellow have a unique characteristics that distinguish them from one another, primarily based on the elements and condition present during their formation. These differences contribute to the varying level of rarity, market value, and desirability. Whether it's the boron-infused blue, the lattice-distorted pink, or the nitrogen-enhanced yellow, each of these colored diamonds offer a distinct and captivating beauty. And if you think about green and red diamonds, we're reaching a whole new league that might be necessitating an extra few years of research in order to understand the mystery of what nature is able to bring us.